Alrighty guys, welcome back to another great video here. It's your boy Chris. Thank you for stopping by our channel. Thank you for all the support you guys have continued to give us. And today we are back with another special video. This time, about my car. Yes, this car is making uh, well over 300 horsepower. Uh, I kind of wanted to make a video and explain because I've had a lot of people ask me uh, what exactly is all done to this car. Uh, I know since my last video that I did, I mentioned my mod list. Uh, but at the time my car was not as modified as it is now uh, so I want to talk about the differences and what I've done how I've made it better and how I got to where I'm at and what was my budget uh, when I got to this 300 horsepower front-wheel drive monster so a really huge difference from uh, this video versus the last video when I did my previous mod list um, was that now obviously the car is full bolt-ons uh, and I'm going to talk about uh, the mods and the reason why I chose them and how they benefited me uh, so everyone has their own perspective of what's better than what and depends where you are and what you do with your car things can benefit you more than me or me more than you uh, you know for example in California we have 91 octane in Florida they have 93 octane we have E85 Puerto Rico doesn't have E85 so uh, there's a lot of reasons why I did certain things and I want you guys to understand and so you can plan your wallet around your race car and see why I did it and how much I spent. So one of the first mods I did to this car, uh, once I started purchasing and getting into heavily modifying this car uh, with quality performance parts, uh, I got the Clutchmasters FX400. Uh, I was previously on the K Tuner 1923 map and started experiencing uh, some clutch slippage problems. So I figured the Clutchmasters uh, FX400 would help. I got some feedback from a lot of people uh, that have done a lot of good work within this platform and they recommended me the FX400. So far, I'm about 6,000 miles on it and have zero problems with the clutch. Uh, it is a daily driven car and I personally love this clutch pedal way more than the factory clutch pedal. One of the other great mods that I have done to this car uh, is the 27.1 W1 Turbo uh, Charger. Just like their website says, it is a complete OEM drop-in turbo. Uh, as you can tell, no one would really even know that I have an upgraded turbocharger on this car. Uh, that cost me about, uh, about $1,600 uh, all in all, uh, including the shipping. At that time, I had paid for overnight shipping, so it's about $1,600, but it was definitely very well worth it. Got me over the 300 horsepower mark that at that time, not a lot of people had been able to make. Um, with a stock turbocharger because uh, it was just way too much boost and the turbo just seemed to fatigue uh, almost down after like four or five thousand rpm so definitely was a great buy it came with the upgraded oil coolant lines to feed this turbocharger what it needs uh, and now pushing you know 29.7 pounds of boost which was unachievable uh, but we've done it uh, thanks to my tuner uh, my tuner is Hybrid Works, uh, Anthony at Hybrid Works, they're here in Vallejo, California. So if you have a Honda, uh, if you have any kind of vehicle you want to get tuned, uh, he has experience with many vehicles, not only Hondas, uh, and he is a certified AEM tuner, uh, AEM Infinity, I believe. So As far as exhaust, this car is equipped with the CNT Racing down pipe and front pipe uh, catless version. Uh, that's the personal brand that I chose. I've uh, worked many times with CNT Racing. Uh, the car also does have the CNT Racing prototype inner cooler piping which should be coming out here very very soon. Uh, they did, did expect right after summer sometime August so I'm not sure what exactly is the release date but the piping is equivalent uh, I believe to about two and a quarter uh, is the inner cooler piping so uh, it's working on my car. It's held about almost 30 pounds of boost so I think uh, it's going to work very, very well. It is better than a lot of other competitors I have seen on the market. Uh, and from what I understand, it's going to be a very, very cost effective price. So uh, all this car has for exhaust is a downpipe and front pipe. Uh, the mufflers are deleted and there was a additional resonator uh, added. And that is how I get the nice tone out of the car. Uh, it doesn't have a front pipe back exhaust. It is completely a stock exhaust right after the front pipe. CNT's down pipe, uh, I believe is a three inch and the taper's down to two and a half, which is great because the factory is only two and a quarter. And the front pipe is two and a half, which is 
perfect because again the factory is only two and a quarter so this car does have the passport rear mount i do plan on getting the side mounts uh, i just got back from my honeymoon and so don't really want it. can't spend crazy money on it but it does have the rear mount 82a rating i feel like uh, it is a little bit of vibration if you are used to the stock mount feel uh, but it definitely does help the vehicle a lot, especially when you're pushing uh, horse, high horsepower levels like this vehicle is. Um, so, uh, rear mount, definitely recommend it from Hasport. Whatever your rating is, I believe they have 62, 72, and 82. I have 82 uh, on the car, so you gotta love it. You have a front mount intercooler, and it is the engine intercooler. Uh, so far, I love it. I have seen uh, up to 25, I believe. Uh, temperature drop between IAT1 and IAT2 uh, so you gotta love it in this California heat you gotta keep your uh, car running as cool as possible and uh, thanks to engine huge shout out to them for this great intercooler uh, I personally love it I have installed the PRL intercooler before as well and uh, personally I didn't like it that was my opinion uh, that's not everyone's opinion and I'm not saying you don't have to like it uh, I just thought it wasn't that much bigger uh, I heard it does flow a lot more than the factory one, but uh, I saw the engine and to me it looked more aggressive. Uh, a reputable company for many years I've been doing this, so I uh, figured I'd purchase their intercooler. Uh, and it was just big, it was so massive that I just felt like I had to do it, you know? This car does have the PRL Race Math Cobra uh, intake, cold air intake. Uh, I love it. Uh, I believe that it is to me. Uh, one of the best, if not the best, uh, intake on the market, uh, quality parts, uh, it definitely does the job. I have seen uh, three degree variance from outside to what my uh, intake air temperature sensor one is reading. So if it's 88 outside, my car is reading 91, if it was 70, my car is reading 73. So uh, it definitely does do the job. I did drill holes on the bottom, just like the right side has to cool the intercooler piping from the hot air from over the turbo. I made sure we had air coming directly to that air filter. Um, that way we can get better airflow to it. And it does, uh, again, make a huge difference. I believe I had five or six degree variance or something like that. And when I put the holes in, that, that's when I achieved my three degree variance. So if you have this intake and you have not done this mod, you should uh, drill out or bore out those holes on the honeycomb uh, it honestly does make a huge difference I also have a uh, flex fuel kit on the car so I do run fully 85 uh, on the car uh, I bought the kit from two-step performance it is their uh, DIY kit it's very simple um, shout out to Oso oh sick and Vincent from 271 uh, when I was out in LA they actually helped me install it uh, because I was down there for the big uh, Honda CTR Dino Day. So uh, it was fairly easy from what I saw in the installation. Uh, the instructions are very, very straightforward. So, you know, that's pretty much there. Um, I do pump fully 85, so all 10 or 11 gallons, whatever this car feels like taking, uh, is fully 85. I've been running that for about 3,000 miles now and have had zero problems. So everything is great. This car used to be on uh, K-Tuner Management, the last video you guys saw uh, from my mod list. And uh, I loved K-Tuner, it was a great product. Um, and all the features that it had were, were, were quite unique uh, versus to its competitors on the market. My tuner is a certified Honda dealer, which is again, Anthony at Hyberworks in Vallejo. Uh, so uh, when I started to get my vehicle ready for him to tune, uh, from what I've seen from other people and reading online, uh, Honda was a better tuning platform. Uh, I did understand that K-Tuner had touchscreen and some cool features, but when it came down to making power, uh, I preferred to use Honda. So now this vehicle is powered by Honda Flash Pro. Uh, I love it. I would never go back to K-Tuner. Uh, they do have, again, great features, but the car, to me, it's all about making power. Uh, I rather have no touchscreen and over 300 horsepower and high boost levels than have uh, touchscreen and be limited at 25, 26 PSI on an upgraded turbo. Uh, so I do know a lot of people that have uh, converted from gate tuner to Honda and vice versa, but I have seen a lot of people also having power limits and boost limits on K-Tuner. Not sure why, um, but hey, 
let them figure that out. Uh, I'm happy with my tuning plat platform, and uh, honestly, it couldn't be any better. It has multiple features uh, for your tuner. If you're having a custom tune done, um, it also has a couple of cool features like the anti lag on cancel button. So pretty much, you can two-step whenever you want at whatever rev limit you want. Uh, it also has the rolling uh, anti lag which is a unique feature, uh, I believe, to almost any vehicle, uh, unless you're on a full standalone ECU that I can remember. I don't think any flashing devices offer rolling anti-lag. So if you don't know what rolling anti-lag is, it is a great, great, great source of fun. Uh, you just, you're driving, car pulls up next to you. As you know, when you're turbocharged, you do have to drive, you do have to get on the accelerator to build boost. So this, but this feature, what it does is, by holding the cancel button down, you are able to build boost while being at a full stop. Also gives you those nice pops and backfires everyone loves to hear. Uh, so you're at a st you're rolling, hit the cancel button, give it partial throttle, car stays still, builds whatever you target your boost level to, and once you let it off that cancel button, the vehicle just goes off on its way. So it is an awesome feature, probably one of my most favorite features. You are able to data log and. So yeah, it, it, it is a great product. Now I do have a coming on order set of Willwood four pistons for the front uh, with upgraded rotors, uh, bra uh, braided, uh, braided steel brake lines, and I can't remember what else they include in that kit. They're not on the car yet because they are on back order. Uh, so that, those are coming on the car and so are a set of wheels and tires. Um, and that would be pretty much the end of my modifications to this car for quite some time now. Uh, we are not done tuning the car yet. A lot of people have been curious to what horsepower I made and uh, it was listed on my Instagram. Uh, the car did make 318 horsepower, 330 torque or 328 torque I believe. Um, so those are great numbers, solid, beautiful graph. I'm very, very happy. I've had a lot of fun with it. As you can see with my scat pack video, um, we've had tons of fun smoking V8s all day long. Uh, we just got a new Vivistar uh, or GoPro installed inside the car uh, thanks to Patterson Multimedia. They are a multimedia sponsor. Uh, so we are going to be recording a little bit of more uh, racing activity from the inside of the car. It's kind of tough to record and shift when you know you're have all that going on. So um, if you do have any questions about any of these mods that my car has, I do want you to drop a comment down below because uh, I definitely want to answer any question that you have and help you with your build and see what area and uh, you are located and what mod would benefit you more. Uh, so those are pretty much my performance mods and that is how with $5,000 uh, you can achieve over 300 horsepower on this car. Uh, I personally think that five grand is not too much for you to put into your car and be able to go out and smoke a V8, 5.0, Mustang, a Charger, or GTO, whatever you want to call it, or line up next to them and smoke them. Uh, there's the list of the parts that I used and that's how I achieved it. Uh, now to the exciting part of this video. Uh, we are going to be doing something very, very, very cool. I don't know how many channels doing uh, and I want to thank all of our subscribers, commenters, watchers, viewers, lovers, haters. Uh, you guys have helped us grow since day one, you know, just a f just shy of maybe six months ago or such. Uh, we are going to be doing a K-Tuner raffle giveaway. Uh, so if you are interested in this K-Tuner giveaway, it is very, 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 very simple uh, of what you have to do. All you have to do is very, 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 very simple. If you have you, you have to have a Facebook page uh, or Facebook uh, and follow us on our Facebook page, which is X Gen Alliance, just like the YouTube channel. Uh, as soon as you like us on there, uh, we'll accept. You know, we'll send us the request to join the group. Uh, we will add you then. Make sure you are following our Instagram account as well, and make sure you are subscribed. Those three things will get you into the raffle. Once you have those three things done you will DM me on my Instagram account, which is Jen underscore X underscore Chris. Uh, once you DM me on my Instagram, we will then proceed to the following step, uh, which is just $5 sent to the raffle to win a K-Tuner. What's better than winning a K-Tuner for five bucks? 
I mean, five bucks doesn't even isn't even equivalent to few few cents a day. So, I'm sure, everyone has five bucks. Very simple, very easy to win a K tuner. Uh, these are no gimmicks. Our K tuners are in here, and it also come with a few extra alliance stickers. So, uh, please do comment below if you are interested. And again, follow those steps. Follow our Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, and then DM me on uh, Instagram and you will have the opportunity to win a K-Tuner. Now that has been all for this video. Again, if you do have any questions, I would love for you to comment below. Uh, I'm always answering everyone's comments. I always get back to everyone, whether it's a positive comment or a negative comment. I want to thank all of you guys for watching us. Uh, and thank you for, again, all the support you have given us. Uh, if you do want to join Next Gen Alliance, please do make sure, again, to DM me directly on Instagram. We would love to have more people join uh, our group. And we do have multiple chapters uh, all around the nation. Uh, so I want to thank you guys again. And we'll see you next video. Peace.